Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'm What is going on guys, my name is 4G and today I'm going to be talking about the Four Nightmares 2017 event update compared to the Four Nightmares 2018 update. Alright, so before I start this, I just want to say that this is going to be mainly battle royale because i did not play save the world until around december time of last year so i don't think it's fair to talk about save the world 2017 when uh, i did not play it so without further ado let's get right into it so for four nightmares 2017 because we're going to start off with that the first main thing that was added into the game of course is the pumpkin launcher this was a brand new weapon at the time and it was crazy guys everyone loved it i mean everyone still loves it it's a great weapon it's so much fun to use and it honestly gives the rpg a nice breath of fresh air it really does all right so the next thing i'm sure a lot of people know about this it's the skull trooper the ghoul trooper and of course the reaper pickaxe that everyone calls the scythe because it is a scythe and the reaper kind of it doesn't sound that good honestly but either way guys these are very very rare skins or at least they used to be they're not anymore the ghoul trooper still technically is but let's be real guys it's gonna come back in the next few days for sure epic games really would be kind of dumb not to bring it back and i don't think epic games is dumb so they're probably gonna bring it back okay so for the next big thing the big thing it's a very big thing guys i'm sure everyone does is not gonna expect this at all when i'm saying this unless you played back then the item shop was added in with the fort nightmares 2017 event so that is crazy guys you know why because uh, really what would fortnite be without an item shop i mean the game has gotten so popular because of this and it wasn't even in the game at launch which is crazy to think of course though it did i did play back then and i remember everyone running around as default back then i didn't care of course but you know things have changed since then but anyways the next thing is the season shop so this wasn't technically added in with this update but the tab for it was added now if you guys don't know what this is this is actually the place where you would earn and then buy the renegade raider and all those other items that were season one exclusives um because of the fact this was before a battle pass was actually added a battle pass didn't get added until season two i'm sure you guys know that but next on the list we're going to be talking about but next on the comparisons that we're going to talk about because we're going to talk about the 2018 very soon don't worry but on the next on it is leaderboards so i'm sure a lot of people don't even use leaderboards that much honestly because i don't use them as it's not like a global leaderboard it's just a leaderboard against a certain amount of people so i don't really personally use them but it's still cool to have them in game and it's crazy because it's been in the game for so long i don't even i barely even remember a time when it wasn't in the game next thing was combat pro this is for all the console players of course this is a good way to play but not anymore all right of course builder pro is way superior or even creating your own button mapping as you can do that nowadays so of course for the last thing we're going to be talking about in this fortnite mares event is going to be the lobby the lobby was actually changed back then and it looked amazing it still to this day, it still looks amazing, guys, and I love the look of this. If you guys don't know what it looks like, here is what the lobby for the Fortnite Mares event 2017 looked like. Of course, it is similar to the one nowadays. Um, we're going to get into that in a second, but... Um you know, it just wasn't, it's just not the same exactly. So we're going to get right into it. So without further ado, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the trailer for the Fortnite Mares event 2017. Alright guys, so if you guys have never seen that, well, that's the 2017 trailer for Fortnite Mares. You probably have seen it, but if you haven't, there you go. It is a great trailer because it was a, a great event, and uh, yeah. So we're going to get right into the 2018 event now, and uh, there's a lot of, lot of good stuff in here, alright? So... For Nightmares 2018, we of course had all the return of the 2017 stuff, like the Pumpkin Launcher, the Skull Trooper. The Gold Trooper is probably going to come out, like I said before, uh, but right now it hasn't come out, but we'll, we'll just wait a few days, alright? If it doesn't come out in the next few days, well then maybe, you know, maybe, maybe it will be rare, but either way, it's probably going to make a return, guys. So, that is everything from 2017, except for the lobby, as this is the lobby that we got this year. It's very similar, but it's not identical. So, that's like the only thing that didn't return, from what I remember. Um, also, the blue pumpkin launcher, no one would probably remember that, because of the fact that there's no blue RPG anymore, so there's no blue pumpkin launcher. So, 
with the next thing that they added in with this brand new update is the new revolver. Now, when they removed the revolver, I was actually pretty upset because I love that weapon. It was a great weapon. If you drop down, honestly, I would have preferred it over a common pistol or something. So I'm happy that in a sense they're bringing it back. It's not identical. It's nowhere near that because the revolver from you know previous before they vaulted it um, used to be basically like a weaker deagle. Now it's basically uh, you can spam it from the hip or you can get accurate shots uh kind of like the old revolver if you aim in but it's not identical because you can hit fire pretty easily and it's actually a pretty good weapon if you want to double pump essentially but not double pump you're gonna be you're gonna be using a pump and you're gonna be using a revolver a new revolver so the next thing i'm going to be talking about is the brand new crossbow that i was super excited to see of course it's not identical to the original one that they added in a few months ago and then vaulted a few months later but um pretty much it's still really cool it is called the fiend hunter crossbow that's what it was called i could not find it for the life of me in the patch notes until eventually you know i looked in the most obvious spot which is the limited time event area of the patch notes but that's what it's called guys it basically is just a crossbow from from season three and season two um but it's basically like the original crossbow except it does not have a scope and it has a little bit of extra ammo and i believe it's not as strong actually i could be wrong about that it might i can't remember the exact damage of the original one but either way it looks really cool and of course it actually looks a little bit different because it's halloween themed it has like a green uh flare bolt to it instead um like the arrow the bolt on the arrow is actually green and it looks really cool but of course it's not identical but i'm happy to see that at least a portion of the crossbow has been added back in and i'm happy to see it in fortnite again so for the next thing guys that they added in this is probably the biggest thing that they've added in with this brand new update is the fact that there are cube monsters that run around fortnite on the fortnite island now now i personally would call them zombies or husks personally i do call them husks because it's like a save the world reference i mean think about it guys they made save the world 50 percent off the day they add this into battle royale it's kind of like a way of advertising save the world and saying how cool save the world is and stuff um but either way cube monsters aka husks i'm gonna call them husks from this point on are really cool honestly i like them they add a new challenge to the gameplay they're a little bit annoying at the end game to be honest with you they are um but i'm happy to see them in and of course they're not a permanent addition to the game so it's all good but um it's still really cool to see them running around and stuff when you're trying to build and stuff they just break bases down and they kind of uh they kind of destroy campers at the end game and i like that so honestly it's a really good addition to the game and i can't wait to see how it will play out in the next coming month so for the next thing they added in some challenges for fort nightmares uh they did not do this last year of course i mean they did it for the save the world mode but this year they've really focused on the battle royale mode of course uh as it's more popular nowadays but the challenges in this game have uh they've added a few little things of course it gives you it gives you an emote for one of them it gives you a contrail and then it gives you a really really cool glider guys like this glider is awesome to see i am i can't wait to get this that's, that's all i gotta say all right now the next thing that this isn't really halloween themed but they did add it into this update and i think it's a pretty big feature honestly so this is temporary apparently uh they might take it out they might not who knows Let's see how it goes but it's soaring aka just being able to jump off a ramp jump off a mountain whatever and you can just pull out your glider no matter what as long as you have a little bit of height to the point where you're going to take fall damage you could just pull out your glider easy as that you could just get across the map so much easier launch pads are useless so i like the feature a little bit honestly uh i didn't like it when i was playing i don't like it when i'm playing solos but when i play squads and duos it's honestly a lot more fun because of the fact that i'll have a teammate to back me up at least you know so people can't just jump me when i'm trying to heal up after a fight or something of course when you're in solo that's not an option of course you're you don't have a teammate to help you so you could probably just die either way guys i'm gonna be showing you guys the 2018 trailer now
I'm sure you guys already saw that as this already this just came out yesterday. But if you're sticking around to the end, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed, hit that like button as it really does help out the channel. And of course, subscribe for more awesome daily board night content. I upload things like this daily. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.